Hey guys and welcome back. So before we actually start about the topic you see in the title of the video, let's just uh, remind you all if somebody missed um, Zabbix Summit this year will be online so that will going to be a virtual experience which is going to be absolutely free so no need to pay any money. Uh, the event itself will be almost 20 hours long so it doesn't matter where you are located you will find a time spot for your time zone to uh, listen for some great speeches and remember that you can also get a fan package which have included a uh, similar mug to this so merch from this abex uh, to get more info you can just take a look in the previous videos of my channel like um, a couple days ago i released a video about this abex summit but getting back to the topic of the today so very simple, right? How to change uh, the logo of the Zabbix in the Zabbix web frontend. And uh, by saying the logo of the Zabbix, I really mean the frontend like this one that you can see in the login screen and also the one here, which you can see on the left side. So the Zabbix uh, previously in uh, two dot something and I think also in the three dot something versions it was extremely easy like in the front end files there was just a PNG think PNG file which you could just replace with the logo of your company and that's it basically reload a page and it's done so right now if you would go to the front end you would not actually find any uh, png uh, or whatever else image uh, graphical files because everything all the graphics of the front end um, most common graphics are in the sprite file so we need to edit that one single file in which we'll find all of those images and then we can replace it with our custom logo. So to do that, first of all, you're gonna, ha you're gonna need uh, some sort of um, specific application to work with a graphics, with a vector graphics. If you don't have it, as example, Adobe Illustrator should work totally fine, but since that is a paid software, so we're going to stick with some something free. And something free is Inkscape. I will also drop the link in the description of this video, so go ahead and download. So Inkscape.org, and we need to click Download Now. Then there are options for us to choose uh, Linux version, Windows, Mac, or just get a sources. Since I'm on a Windows machine, I will get a Windows 64-bit. Uh, I can also choose just get an executable, MSI, or compressed. Um, yep, and download started. So should be here in a second. There we go. Almost here. Yep. So clicking on it and just like usually in a window is just a couple of next 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 finish so do not add Inkscape to the system path. Um, yeah I think we don't need it and uh, create a desktop icon yep whatever so program files Inkscape next next um, yeah there are no nor, no adverb and just install it. This, as far as I remember, will take uh, some sort of the time. It's actually extracting a lot of things. So now we can actually proceed and, and, and check for the file, which we we're going to need um, to actually change it. So we need to open our... Um, I have a CLI on my CentOS 7 machine, just like usually good old CentOS 7 machine. Um, by the way, if you don't know, the CentOS uh, support uh, has ended right now. Uh, as far as I know, the Red Hat still has extended support for RHEL 7, but not a CentOS 7. Uh, repos repositories are still updated and uh, some, some new packages are there, but uh, basically the operating system itself is not supported anymore. So if you're still using a CentOS, then it's probably time to upgrade to CentOS 8. Uh, then getting back to our front end i have everything running on docker containers so not a standalone installation but you will um, 
you will see what's the difference and there's basically no difference so even if you have uh, installed it from the packages it's going to be very easy so first of all i need to log in inside my container uh, inside a container of my front end and i will take the apache so there is ibex web apache my sql and i need a container id uh, then i need to type docker exec minus id container id and a bash which brings me inside a container and here i need to find this one single file which is in the assets directory so if no actually it's gonna be even here like this right um, so actually the real directory is user share zabbix if you have a zabbix installed from the packages or from the sources then you will need to go user share zabbix and then it's going to be assets uh, here we have um, i think in the styles in the styles nope so in the image in the image directory uh, we have iconsprite.svg so this is uh, the vector file in which we have our Savix logos from my front end so this one um, yeah let me close this and uh, let me actually close this as well I'm trying to find my have a camera in front of my um, one of the tabs that I have. So I have an icon sprite SVG and what we need, we need to get this file on our Windows machine. So first of all, we need to get it outside of our Docker container. So I can go exit. I just showed you where the file is located. And then we can use the command Docker CP. Then container, uh, sorry, so again need to run get uh, container ID from which I want to copy it. So Docker CP then container id colon user share uh, zabbix assets image and uh, icon sprite svg and space then the location to where i want to copy it so tmp and again call it uh, icon sprite svg there we go so right now it should be here there it is icon sprite svg um, then, well, depends on which SSH browser, um, SSH client terminal you're using, you need to download this file on your computer. In the MobX term, which I am using, I can just use here TMP. There is my icon sprite.svg, and I can just right click on it and download. I will download it on my, let's say, on a desktop, yeah so done now i will go to my desktop there it is i will open it using the inkscape vector graphics well it's probably take some time there we go so there we have opened our sprite file in which we have a lot of the pictures including also the logos of the Zabbix uh, as you can see there are three of them and um, how can we tell which which is which so just check um, the image let's say I want to edit only this the size of this image is uh, 91 to 24 so let's go back to uh, our Inkscape this one is uh 864 91 to 24 so this one uh, then we need to get uh, the image that we actually want to replace so i will do just the dirty way not the dirty way like ugly way to i will create some sort of the picture um in a paint so just paint black and add a text with a white uh, call subscribe like this beautiful so I will save it also to my desktop as a PNG um, let's call it new logo save then I can let's just yeah close it and click on a file 
uh, open no import and find on the desktop your new logo dot png uh, embedded from file default import resolution uh, nothing will really change it's just the dpi so the quality of the picture but at this size most likely you won't notice anything so click ok and we get our huge subscribe logo but the problem with it is that it's not uh, not a correct size and the, the important thing is that your new logo has to be the same size as uh, the previous one which you want to change so what i'm going to do i will click on this one which i'm going to change uh, then i'm open snipping tool just to make a screenshot i want to make a screenshot of these dimensions and then i can delete the old one, Zabbix, and I will change the dimensions of my new subscribe logo based on what the previous one was. So 570, uh, 491, and 24. There you go. Now it is exactly the same dimensions as it was previously. Then what we can do, just save our sprite file, uh, open the terminal, get back to my folder in the desktop and copy i will actually delete the previous one in the tmv so delete uh, copy over the new one and then i just need to um, again docker cp but uh, this time not from the container but i will leave actually this so this will be the destination location in the container and the source location is tmp uh, icon sprite.svg right should be good then we can go back to the front end and just refresh and do refresh with uh, if you're using chrome then uh, just hold control to refresh without with reloading all the caches and cookies and there you can see we have a new logo with the subscribe so feel free to change it for anything uh, that suits your company and if we would sign out you see the old one uh, not the old one but the different one in the login screen is still here um, so let's again recap how to do that we already have one downloaded so open the icon sprite there we go uh, check the size of the logo which we want to change uh, 114 to 30 uh, get back to this 114 this and 30 yes so this one is from some other place so we're gonna need to change this one what do we need to do uh, open again paint or maybe photoshop in your case and uh, get the new logo that we want to use again paint it black make it white and like perfect just perfect yep file save us in the desktop new logo one dot png save it we can close this again file import desktop our new logo one png yes okay then we have a big picture remember that we must keep the same resolutions and dimensions as we have on the original file so i will again make just a copy of the dimensions like this and now i can delete the original and change dimensions of my new and like logo like this so it's zero then eight six four then 114 and 30. There we go. Uh, file, save, that's it. Then let's go back to the terminal. Um, delete this one, get back to my desktop, copy over the new icon sprite and copy it inside my container to the user shares abix assets image icon uh, dash sprite.svg then let's go back to the terminal not the terminal with the front end and reload the page um, using the control so there we go we have a new logo in the login screen and we have a new logo uh, here in the navigation screen
that's about it guys um i hope this will be useful for you a very um, simple simple tip uh simple thing how to do uh, very widely asked in the forums and yeah it might not be that convenient as it was previously when you just had to change one single picture in the front end files but now you know it and uh, yeah if you like the content and you want to support me then the only thing that you have to do is click like button click subscribe button and you can also click on the little bell which will notify you every time i will upload a new video thank you and see you in the next days yeah thanks goodbye